Hi everyone, my name is Glenda with SureFit Designs and I've called this video Divining the Dart because you have the opportunity with your SureFit Designs skirt or pants pattern to manipulate the dart to get yourself the very best fit that you can. Now I'm going to do the demonstration on a skirt dart but remember the same thing applies to your pants fitting dart. Now on this skirt, when you get your skirt uh, test done and it's completed, you may end up having a little pokey right here at the tip of that dart. And that could be coming from inappropriate stitching, you haven't stitched to a nice crisp point at the end, or it could be that that dart simply needs to be changed, the shape for your body is not appropriate yet. So let's take a look at the pattern. When you drew your initial dart, you used the waist darts template and you used dart number two, which was the skirt front dart. And so you aimed it going down like this and drew through. All right, now let's take a look and see what we can do to change it. You can stitch this dart in a convex or in a concave curve. And how are you gonna remember the difference between those two names? Well, concave, think about it. It's caving inward. So I'm going to take my designing stylus and I'm going to cave this dart inward like this and like this. I'm doing this in red so that it stands out differently from the original blue dart. If you were a um, heart or an apple shaped tip person, then this curvature may be most suitable to your body. Convex, on the other hand, is an outward curve, and it might look like this. Let me get the stylus where I want it to be so that you can see this green line taking shape now, and it's bowing outward. Now, somebody who has a little bit of hollow underneath their tummy, that shape of dart might be very appropriate. Or, you might um, be a diamond shaped tip person and need your dart even longer. So you definitely can elongate this dart like this. Or you might be somebody who really doesn't need your dart that length at all and you can shorten your dart tip and it would look like this. So you can do truly whatever you need to do with this dart to get yourself the best fit possible. Now, some of you who might be a little bit flatter or straighter in your body shape might in fact not need the full width of that dart at all. This dart actually started off being, here's the right dart, it's an inch and a half wide. Well, let's see how to divide that dart in half. Since it's an inch and a half wide, I need to measure between and mark the half width, which is three quarters of an inch. And then I'm just going to draw my center mark like this. And now I'm going to take three eighths of an inch on either side because three eighths is half of three quarters. And then I'm going to connect that down to make a narrower dart. So now I've got a dart in the front of the skirt that is three quarters of an inch wide. So I know you're asking, what do you do with the remaining three quarters? Well, there's a couple of different things you can do with it. You can take that three quarters and place it in between this dart and your side waist point. And I'll just use my designing stylus here as a bit of a level. That's where the initial dart tip goes to and this second dart, I'm actually going to bring it up about an inch from that level, and I'll make a mark. And then initially, I'm just going to make an arbitrary line going up to the waist edge, like that. And I say arbitrary because you are going to have to check this uh, in a test skirt and make sure you like the shape and the placement of that. And we had three quarters of an inch, so I'm going to make markings that are three eighths of an inch wide on either side and then I will connect like this in pink, and that puts in the waist-fitting dart 
the other, that little skinny half waist fitting dart. And don't forget to put that little hat on the top of the dart, which is your re required dart stitching and cutting line. Now, you may or may not need that secondary dart. And if you don't, then the other thing that you can do is take off 3 eighths of an inch at the side seam on both the front and the skirt back pattern. And then all you'll do is blend down or true into your existing hip line. And you'll do that on both the front and the back of the skirt. And the reason that you'll do it on the front and the back is so that you maintain the side seam to be the same shape for stitching purposes. So whether you need to sew in a concave or convex curve, lengthen or shorten, or divide the dart in half, you see you have a tremendous opportunity to truly get the best fitting dart possible. Now there are written directions for this as well in the SureFit Designs Learning Center if you go to the article library and there you'll see an article entitled Dealing with the Skirt Dart. And while you're in the Learning Center, make sure you click on over to the video library where you'll see many complimentary videos on helping you to get the very best fit possible with your SureFit Designs body blueprint.